What is up guys, welcome back to another YouTube video and today we're going to be playing days 26 to day 50. I promise you, this video is way more interesting than the last one if you've seen the last one. If you have not, go in the description and check it out first, also most of the things I do will not make sense. But yeah, this one, I think this is just a much better video overall. Anyways, enjoy this video. Day 26, was grinding a lot of trees as I needed all the sticks like that I could get, so that I could trade with some villagers. So I was trading away, and bad things happened. Huh? I almost died, dude. I was at two and a half hearts. I did not want my whole series to end right there, so I was really freaking scared that I was about to die, so I just made sure there was no mobs around me. Next up, sheared some sheep, because this comment told me to get some shears, so shout out to you. Bred up some cows. They all love me, you already know, dude. I crafted some more books so I could actually start working on my enchantment area. I placed down some of the books. And I think I got 16 levels. Let's see how much we get. This area was 16 levels. So yeah, I got 16 levels. It's not much, but it'll be good for now. We also needed some sugarcane, so I decided to start making a sugarcane farm right underneath our base. There was an open area, so I thought it was a good spot. And these next couple of days was just me grinding out wood and trading it. And just that cycle going over and over again. Because I really needed to get emeralds. I also decided to sneak in this guy's house while he was sleeping, so I could actually close him up, and hopefully he won't escape. Came back the next day, and he was actually gone. I had no idea where he went. So I was really confused. I eventually did get someone in here, and we decided to turn him into a toolsmith. He had a freaking axe trade, though, which was going to be AIDS. I already know that this was going to suck. Yup, and that is what my inventory looked Bruh. like a couple minutes later. Yeah, I didn't know where to put him, so I just all threw him on the ground, and now there's just a huge pile of axes just laying on the ground. The world and the first thing I did was just kill a bunch of cows because I really wanted that enchantment table and also I didn't really I didn't really get any much inspiration from that walk around to my old world to be honest so that was kind of a waste of time oh yeah and here's a clip of me trying to flick on a zombie why are you bullying me I'm also trying my best not to show you guys anything that's like boring to watch but I got a cleric villager now I also saw some iron so I went to go pick it up I didn't take any fall damage right there I was really confused, can someone please explain that to me in the comments why I didn't take full damage. I also saw this really cool like weird mountainy hill thing over here next to my house so I went to go check it out. And also I just want to say that there's a lot of clips that I'm not showing because I just think they're kind of boring to watch like me taming cows and like breeding them and getting leather and stuff. There's also a lot of coal here, I just realized that. Yeah, um, there's just a lot of clips I'm not showing so I'm sorry if I'm like, you just can't see everything, I just feel like it's not that entertaining to watch. It was a dark forest over there, so I should probably get that sometime, but I was just way too lazy right now. Finally finished up the bookcases. It should be a level 30 now. Yes, sir. Level 30 enchantments. This took way too long. I had an AFK for sugarcane and everything. I grabbed some lapis, and I was going to enchant my diamond pickaxe. Let's see what we got. Ooh, silk touch. That's actually really good. Nice. Damn, I'm breaking three silk touch. That's pretty insane. Let's go. I did a lot of trading. And I also leveled up my cleric to the next level. This was also the time when I realized that I probably shouldn't have gotten a uh, toolsmith like villager. I probably should have gotten like an armor or like a weaponsmith because I don't know why I really needed tools that much. After a bunch of grinding, I finally did give myself an armor villager and I leveled him up a bunch. As you can see in my inventory, I, it's just a complete mess of shields and just some chainmill and iron armor. It was it was a pretty bad mess. And also outside there was also Bruh. a big pile of just chest plates sitting there. Day 34. It was a nice beautiful morning and I go upstairs and I was like, oh shoot, okay then. Yeah, a creeper was literally right chilling up there. My reflexes saved my life. I would have been triggered if that exploded because he was right next to all of my chests and everything. That was a very intense moment. Alright, the next day I just went and got some more wood traded in more sticks because you know I needed those emeralds kept on grinding and grinding I eventually got to the point where I could buy my very first piece of diamond armor so I decided to buy the diamond leggings for 14 emeralds it was actually on discount since I upgraded this kid so fast there we go cover me with diamonds achievement so I went home and dropped off all of those random stuff I had in my inventory and Bruh. I found out that my wood chest was actually full so I really needed to use all those sticks because I had so many sticks inside there Today was exploring the nether day because I completely forgot that this was actually 20w21b so there was there was another update and all the new things added like the warped forest and like all that stuff I don't really know much about it 
Yeah, also, now that I have my Silk Touch pickaxe, I could just mine this gold ore, and it would actually give me the ore itself and not the nuggets. And then I could smelt that inside the furnace and it would give me straight up ingots, so that would save me a lot of time and mining. So I saw this little, like, drop down over here, and I decided to take the risky choice and it dropped down, and I didn't really lose that much hearts, so I was okay. But I really need to go down there anyway, because I spawned up so high in the nether. After a while of exploring, I came across one of these forests, and there were these crimson roots, and also these other weird looking mushrooms, and they were called crimson funguses. I've never seen these before, so this was really weird. Probably came from the new update. There was also these weird sounding trees, and it sounded really weird and like nice at the same time, kind of like an ASMR. I don't even know how to explain it. Just listen. Yeah, and those were called crimson stems. I have no idea how to grow these back on the overworld. I've seen people do it before. So if you guys know how to grow those crimson thingies in the overworld, just let me know in the comments. Also, I didn't know that these things actually hurt you. Like, I think they're called hoglins, and I, I don't know why they were hurting me, so I'm gonna go look it up in a second. Alright, so turns out you need to be wearing gold armor or something like that so they won't hurt you. I also found one of these green forests over here as well. I also saw an enderman in the nether, I didn't know these actually spawned in the nether and he was also carrying one of those like grass blocks. So I didn't know that those were even a thing here. I also saw a different type of tree as well. And there were also these like weird glowy melon things called shroom lights, I've never seen these before either. There were so many new things in this update, it looked like glowstone too. Finally returned back to the overworld after a really long time in the nether and I bought myself a diamond hoe because why not and also I had to level up my toolsmith anyway. I also found another Fletcher in town so I just turned him into another stick trade and just used some leftover sticks from my chests. Also went back and got myself some diamond boots so now I had half of my diamond set already. I ended the day off with just harvesting some wheat and it was really satisfying. I was getting kind of bored of all the grind just to get diamond tools and armor so I can go fight the ender dragon so I decided to take a little break and try to build something cool. So I had to go into the mines to actually get some materials for this build first. I was thinking like a cool medieval styled fountain made of stone bricks since now I had that silk touch pickaxe it would be really easy to get stone. So I started to get carried away because there was just so many ores and I found a mine shaft in like 600 different ravines. Like the cave that I was in was literally so big. There was just so much to explore, I got tons of gold and tons of iron. While we're waiting for me to go mining, I just want to say thank you for sticking around this far in the video. I really appreciate each and every one of you guys who watch my videos. I eventually came across a vein of diamonds and I looked around and there was nobody near me so I started mining it up, but little did I know. Hello motherfucker. There were some cave spiders nearby. And all of a sudden boss music started playing and I was really confused. Cave spiders started popping out out of nowhere and I didn't know what to do. I was starting to get worried because I was getting really low. Only two hearts left. And I was about to die, I had to dip. There was no way I was going to die. I've come close to dying so many times in this series. Sitting at half a heart right now with poison. I'm trying to dig away into a little hole. Try to make myself safe. And that was a really close call, and I pretty much just sat in here until I regened all the way back. All I wanted to do was just go mining, man, and just get some materials for my build. It was a pretty normal day on day 42. I went upstairs, and there was Bruh. another mob inside of my house. What is up with all these mobs spawning inside there? I swear I have enough light. Once I got that taken care of, I got all the stone that I got from my mining trip, and I started turning them into stone bricks. The build I had in mind was like a uh, kind of medieval styled like fountain kind of thing and I worked on it for a couple of days and it was just a really nice refreshing stop to all the grind that I had to do. I think it looked pretty decent. I was filling out the floor over here and I forgot that I crafted some lanterns earlier and I think these look really sick. The build was pretty much done, and I added some like extra leaves on the edge, and it looked really cool. All I needed to do was just add the water now. I'll just put in the last bucket, boom, right there. Let's go see what this looks like. Damn, I'm actually kind of impressed. That looks pretty good. I'm pretty proud of myself for making that. I think it adds a nice addition to the front of our house. 
We've had this iron sword for pretty much the whole series and it was about to break, so I think it was time for a change. I crafted up a diamond sword, a fresh new diamond sword, and we were gonna go enchant it because I had 38 levels right now. Sharpness 4. Okay. That better be good. There better be something else. I can't. Bruh. Okay, of course. It's only Sharpness 4. I mean, that's still pretty good, but I'm, I was hoping for like Fire Aspect or like something else. Unbreaking, maybe. I decided to go enchant some books to see if I can get anything good that I can combine with. Long story short, I didn't get a single book that was gonna be good on my sword. I decided to go back to grinding out sticks and upgrading my Fletcher. This guy was almost a master, so I just kept on grinding. Let's see what kind of arrow we get. I also buy this terrible bow, who's unbreaking too. Bruh. Arrow of invisibility? That's like the worst one, come on dude. That's great, we're gonna use it a lot. I also got to upgrade my armor to a master as well. All I had to do is buy this single shield, and there we go, our armor should be a master. I'll just reset his trade thing real quick. Alright, there we go, master. Now we have the full diamond set. I went back and I had more levels, so I'm gonna do some more books, and I didn't get anything good again, dude. I just want, like, fire aspect or something, bro. Like, seriously, what is this? Well, I forgot I had tons of emeralds in my chests back home. So I took those, and I got myself a full diamond set of armor. I looked very swag. You stupid. Make it easier on us, I had a cleric villager, so now we can just buy ender pearls instead of farming out endermen. So I just bought a full amount of ender pearls as I could, and that was only 12, sadly. The next thing that I needed to do was to get a bow, so I went and go crafted a bow, and I was gonna check the enchantments on it. Dang, okay, power 4, that could be very good. I'm gonna need one more level though to get that enchantment. I went back into the nether because I also needed a blaze rod, so then I could actually make um, Eyes of Ender, so then we could actually get to the end, because that's like the only thing that we're actually missing right now. So I explored and explored and came across a fortress, finally. There's actually a lot of chests, and there was some decent loot, it was mainly just gold, and I had five gold chest plates in my inventory, it was crazy. That fortress was pretty short, but not too long after I found another one in the Basalt Delta, one of the new biomes, it was actually really cool. There were a lot of blazes and wither skeletons here, so I was pretty lucky. I'm pretty sure there was also a spawner here too. But yeah, I was I was pretty worried because I almost came close to dying, kind of. I'd like half hearts. I went back home and I stored back all of my golden chest plates in my chests and all the things and loot that I got from my nether expedition. Now that I had enough levels, I could finally enchant my bow. See what it is? Wow, power 4 on breaking 3 flame, that's actually really good, okay. Yeah, that's one of the best bows we could have gotten, that's that's really lucky, let's go. We have an insane bow now. And arrows aren't going to be a problem because we have a Fletcher, so I can just trade for arrows. Right there, super easy, 2 stacks of arrows. We're pretty much set now for our loadout, we have a good bow, a good sword, and a good armor. Now I just crafted up some Eyes of Ender and I had 18 Eyes of Ender. We were pretty much set to go kill the Ender Dragon at this point. It was day 50, and we finally made it to the halfway point of this series. To celebrate, I decided to craft up a cake because I had all the ingredients already. So I crafted up the cake and placed it on this nether brick thing on my second floor. I thought it gave you an achievement when you ate it, but I guess it doesn't. I don't know why I thought that. But yeah, epic, we made it to day 50, finally. I also forgot I had so many bones, and I realized that there was a freaking wolf inside my cow pen. So I decided to tame that. And there we go, now we have our own pet dog. And that pretty much wraps it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and thank you so much for sticking around to the end of the video. The support on the last episode has been insane, so I knew I had to get this video out as soon as possible for you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.